Hi friends, welcome back. Are you looking to make these type of designs for a tumbler? Do you wanna know how to make the tumbler mock-up? Do you wanna know other mock-ups that you can make and create so that you can be able to put on your, your website or on your Etsy site to sell? Well, stay tuned. Okay, friends, so if you go on Etsy, you will see all these different tumbler designs and then you see they have the mock-ups. So I always wondered, okay, how do they do these mock-ups? The designs are beautiful. Everybody has their own unique style. They all are nice. And so now we know how we can make our own tumbler designs because we can just go on ChatGPT and ask them to create one for us. Um, so we can do that but like i said before you for a chat gpt you have to have um the pro account and you have to pay for that but look at all of these different designs and see how they have the mock-ups so i always wondered i was intimidated before to make tumblr designs because i'm like well all right if i make them like i have to find a way to show them like how do i do that so guys i figured it out and we're going to go ahead and we're going to create these mock-ups as well and you'll see some of the designs that i created also if you are interested i also have um prompts that i can put in the description and you can go ahead and use them and tweak them to your liking like as always i don't mind sharing so okay we're going to go to canva because we're going to create the tumblr design well we already have the design but let's say so we need to do 9.35 for a 20 ounce tumbler it's going to be 9.35 and remember we have to make sure they're in inches and then it's going to be 8.25 now i already did it so but when you creating you just go ahead and create design now we're going to go ahead here i'm a cowboys fan so forgive me i know they're terrible right now but it's okay you know, I've been a fan for a very long time. I'm going to stay committed. And then I also created that. I thought that was so cute, a little expression. And then here are the designs, right? The Tumblr mock-ups. So what we do is we go to our favorite place, Creative Fabrica. And of course, if you already have a Fabri Creative Fabrica account, you already know that designs are paid for already in advance. So you get to just go ahead and use them so you have all these different ones that you can use and um pretty much use them to your liking whichever one you choose and just go from there i personally i didn't use the ones that already have the little the, the go i just use the ones like this because i'm gonna show you why um, see, here's a design that I created. Nice for the fall. I'm going to do some winter ones soon. But this would be nice for the fall. So, um, I'm trying to put it here. But it went ahead and did that. And as you can see, it doesn't fit. So, I need to not make her as a background. So, I'm going to have to remove her because this is not going to work. Okay. So, you're just going to make this back and make this a little bigger so that we can go ahead and do the design and then now i'm going to add her back on here and what i'm doing i'm just kind of lining it up to match the two ends and then the top you want to just kind of make sure that it's even so like her head is not cut off and then we're going to see just lining it up stretching it out just making sure. Sometimes it's okay if it's over a little bit. It's it's not gonna bother. Then you're gonna go to these three dots, and you're gonna go to layer, and then you're gonna send to the back, and there you have it. See how easy that is, guys? Simple, so simple. And that's that's all to it with the mock-up. That's it. Literally, that's it. There's no nothing else. We'll do another one. Let's do a different design. We use this one with, with the pixie cut same thing you just pretty much line it up stretch it out just double click it just to bring it down so that her head won't be cut off and you're just pretty much lining it up that's all guys i promise you it's nothing to it go to the three dots again okay wait a minute we just still stretching it out 
Okay, I think it looks good. I'll stretch out just a little bit more. And so you just play around and go to the three dots, go to the layer, and go send to the back. Okay, y'all know, y'all already know <laughs> how Canva does. And that's it. Look at that, guys. Simple, easy peasy, right? I'm, I'm telling you, it's just that simple. It's not hard. This is one I did. This is the Cowboys. So that's it. All right, let's do the San Fran 49ers. You know, I'm not a 49ers fan, but somebody else might be. So we just do a 49ers and then just go from there. So uh, same thing, just line it up, stretch it out, double click, bring it down. Um, send to the back, and that's it. That's it, guys. Easy peasy, simple, right? And then when you want to make the design, you just go ahead. I do just make it as a background and then you have it. So then when you print it out, it's already, it's there. You just line it up so that her head won't be cut off. And that's it guys. That is it. Easy peasy. So like I said, if you like these designs, I will leave the, the um, prompts for you in the description. But let's come on and let's make some more mock-ups. Let's do a hoodie mock-up and let me just show you how easy they are as well so you can go right on here and if you do not have a pro account they do have free ones you just have to find the ones that don't have the crown and you just upload it put it on here and then put your design so I'm just looking all right we'll use her and I'm just gonna make it background set its background and then I'm gonna go find one of my designs and we're gonna put it on there. Okay, let's see. Let's use this pink pumpkin in honor of breast cancer. We're just gonna make it a little smaller and we're just gonna line it up, make sure it's centered, make sure it looks good. And that's it guys, that is it. That is your mock-up, just as simple. That's it, that's your mock-up. Let's do another mock-up. Let's see what we're gonna do now. Let's see, let's do uh, a mug. You can do a mug. So let's see, mug mock up. And I'm gonna find one that's free. We're gonna do a free one. Um, one that doesn't have a crown. So let's see what we can find. And, oh, here we go. We we'll use this one. Set it as a background. So they can make it bigger, boom. And then now let's do it. A design we do we do a pink pumpkin again okay there we go just make it smaller line it up and boom there you go there's your mug design simple easy there you go I don't know why people don't like to share this type of information it's it's just it's it's nothing with teaching or showing someone how to do something it it doesn't hurt we are here together. Okay, here we go. Let's see, picture frame, because some people like to put these in the house as art. So we're gonna set this as background. Let's go find a design. Let's use, oh, let's use her. That's a nice fall. And all you're gonna do, we're just gonna size it to fit inside. There we go. There we go. We're gonna fit it inside. I'm just looking to see, and there you go. Line it up, boom, and then you have your picture frame. There you go. All right, let's do another one. Let's see what we want to do. We it was so many different type of mockups, right? Um, I don't know what all you guys like, but look, the, these are all different mockups that's here in Canva. Some are free, and of course, you know they have the ones for paid, but. You can find whatever it is you're looking for. You just type it in and you will find the mock-ups. Oh, let's do a tote bag. Set its background. Okay, I'm just going to make this where we can see it a little better. And then there you go. And we're going to find a picture. And we're going to put it in there. 
Okay, let's use her nice fall. And we're just going to make it a little smaller, size it up. You can do it however you want. I just did it like this. You could probably put it through the whole thing. Well, however you want it to be printed or just give them a sample of how they want to print it. Because just remember, you could just sell the digital art and they can print it and do it however they want. We just make sure you size it to whatever it is um, that you can do for a tote bag. But guys, listen, these are all the different designs. Easy, right? As always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much. Have a great day.